And the winglets are folding down. Again, part of the 777X is those incredible wingtips that are going to fold up so it can fit in that code E gate and then be able to fold down and have that full length span during flight, allowing it to have better aerodynamic capability and, and create that incredible lift that this wing is capable of. So just one of those steps in taking this airplane to take off. And here we go. Boeing 777X. Woo! That was so incredibly cool to watch. Through the clouds and filtered sunshine, the beauty of that airplane shines through. Absolutely. The building anticipation since yesterday. What a proud moment for all these teams around the world like we just saw and all the people that came out to be a part of this today. It feels like it's been raining here for three weeks and the sun has finally come out. What a spectacular takeoff. It really, really was. I think it's a good sign. Welcome back, everybody, to our continuing live broadcast of the 777X first flight. The airplane took off at 10.09 this morning from Payne Field. It's been flying around the skies of Washington for the last four hours, and you can see it here on final approach at Boeing Field in Seattle. Yep, let's just watch that airplane land. Very first landing of the 777X. And you can hear the crowds cheering for it. Beautiful landing. Beautiful takeoff, beautiful landing. So for the last four hours, the airplane, uh, the pilots have been exercising the triple X's systems and controls as part of a detailed test plan. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at where the airplane's been flying today. We took out a pain field. Oh, let me stop. They're looking. The uh, wingtips are folding right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's thank great. You. Look at those wingtips folding up. That's great. And Ted, that's automatic. Yeah, I'm landing, it's automatic. Uh, they get below 50 knots and the wingtips will pull. Very cool. So as I mentioned before, this is the map of <laughs> where the airplane flew today. We took off from Payne Field, went over to the east, did some testing up there, as Josh mentioned, about four hour flight. And then the aircraft has um, come and landed here at BFI. Just watching it roll down the runway. <laughs> 